Stoichiometry is the calculation of reactants and products in chemical reactions. Stoichiometry is founded on the law of conservation of mass where the total mass of the reactants equals the total mass of the products, leading to the insight that the relations among quantities of reactants and products typically form a ratio of positive integers. This means that if the amounts of the separate reactants are known, then the amount of the product can be calculated. Conversely, if one reactant has a known quantity and the quantity of the products can be empirically determined, then the amount of the other reactants can also be calculated. This is illustrated in the image here, where the balanced equation is CH4 plus 2O2 CO2 plus 2H2O. Here, one molecule of methane reacts with two molecules of oxygen gas to yield one molecule of carbon dioxide and two molecules of water. This particular chemical equation is an example of complete combustion. Stoichiometry measures these quantitative relationships, and is used to determine the amount of products and reactants that are produced or needed in a given reaction. Describing the quantitative relationships among substances as they participate in chemical reactions is known as reaction stoichiometry. In the example above, reaction stoichiometry measures the relationship between the quantities of methane and oxygen that react to form carbon dioxide and water. Because of the well-known relationship of moles to atomic weights, the ratios that are arrived at by stoichiometry can be used to determine quantities by weight in a reaction described by a balanced equation. This is called composition stoichiometry. Gas stoichiometry deals with reactions involving gases, where the gases are at a known temperature, pressure, and volume and can be assumed to be ideal gases. For gases, the volume ratio is ideally the same by the ideal gas law, but the mass ratio of a single reaction has to be calculated from the molecular masses of the reactants and products. In practice, due to the existence of isotopes, molar masses are used instead when calculating the mass ratio. Topic Etymology. The term stoichiometry was first used by Jeremias Benjamin Richter in 1792 when the first volume of Richter's Stoichiometry or the Art of Measuring the Chemical Elements was published. The term is derived from the ancient Greek words stoichion, stoichion, element, and metron, metron, measure. In patristic Greek, the word stoichiometria was used by Nicephorus to refer to the number of line counts of the canonical New Testament and some of the Apocrypha. Definition A stoichiometric amount or stoichiometric ratio of a reagent is the optimum amount or ratio where, assuming that the reaction proceeds to completion, all of the reagent is consumed, there is no deficiency of the reagent, there is no excess of the reagent. Stoichiometry rests upon the very basic laws that help to understand it better, i.e., law of conservation of mass, the law of definite proportions, i.e., the law of constant composition, the law of multiple proportions, and the law of reciprocal proportions. In general, chemical reactions combine indefinite ratios of chemicals. Since chemical reactions can neither create nor destroy matter, nor transmute one element into another, the amount of each element must be the same throughout the overall reaction. For example, the number of atoms of a given element X on the reactant side must equal the number of atoms of that element on the product side, whether or not all of those atoms are actually involved in a reaction. Chemical reactions, as macroscopic unit operations, consist of simply a very large number of elementary reactions, where a single molecule reacts with another molecule. As the reacting molecules or moieties consist of a definite set of atoms in an integer ratio, the ratio between reactants in a complete reaction is also in integer ratio. 
A reaction may consume more than one molecule, and the stoichiometric number counts this number, defined as positive for products added and negative for reactants removed. .Different elements have a different atomic mass, and as collections of single atoms, molecules have a definite molar mass, measured with the unit mole 6.02 times 1023 individual molecules, Avogadro's constant. By definition, carbon-12 has a molar mass of 12 g per mole. Thus, to calculate the stoichiometry by mass, the number of molecules required for each reactant is expressed in moles and multiplied by the molar mass of each to give the mass of each reactant per mole of reaction. The mass ratios can be calculated by dividing each by the total in the whole reaction. Elements in their natural state are mixtures of isotopes of differing mass, thus atomic masses and thus molar masses are not exactly integers. For instance, instead of an exact 14 to 3 proportion, 17.04 kg of ammonia consists of 14.01 kg of nitrogen and 3 times 1.01 kg of hydrogen, because natural nitrogen includes a small amount of nitrogen 15, and natural hydrogen includes hydrogen 2 deuterium. A stoichiometric reactant is a reactant that is consumed in a reaction, as opposed to a catalytic reactant, which is not consumed in the overall reaction because it reacts in one step and is regenerated in another step. <laughs> Converting grams to moles Stoichiometry is not only used to balance chemical equations but also used in conversions, i.e., converting from grams to moles using molar mass as the conversion factor, or from grams to milliliters using density. For example, to find the amount of sodium chloride, sodium chloride in 2.00 grams, one would do the following 2.00 g sodium chloride 58.44 g sodium chloride mole minus 1 equals 0.034 mole display style frac 2.00 m box g sodium chloride 58.44 m box g sodium chloride mole caret minus 1 equals 0.034 text mole in the above example, when written out in fraction form, the units of grams form a multiplicative identity, which is equivalent to 1 gram per gram equals 1, with the resulting amount in moles the unit that was needed, as shown in the following equation 2.00 g sodium chloride 1 1 mole sodium chloride 58.44 G sodium chloride equals 0.034 mole display style left frac 2.00 m box G sodium chloride 1 right left frac 1 m box mole sodium chloride 58.44 m box G sodium chloride right equals 0. 0.034 text mole topic molar proportion stoichiometry is often used to balance chemical equations reaction stoichiometry for example the two diatomic gases hydrogen and oxygen can combine to form a liquid water in an exothermic reaction as described by the following equation 2H2 plus O2 2H2O reaction stoichiometry describes the 2, 1 to 2 ratio of hydrogen, oxygen, and water molecules in the above equation. The molar ratio allows for conversion between moles of one substance and moles of another. For example, in the reaction 2CH3OH plus 3O2 2CO2 plus 4H2 Oath amount of water that will be produced by the combustion of 0.27 moles of CH3OH is obtained using the molar ratio between CH3OH and H2O of 2 to 4. 0.27 mole CH3 
O H one four Mol H two O two Mol C H three O H equals zero point five four Mol H two O Display style left frac zero point two seven M box mole mathram CH underscore three O one right left frac four M box mole mathram H underscore two O two M box mole mathram CH underscore three O right equals zero point five four text mole mathram H underscore two O the term stoichiometry is also often used for the molar proportions of elements in stoichiometric compounds composition stoichiometry. For example, the stoichiometry of hydrogen and oxygen in H2O is 2 to 1. In stoichiometric compounds, the molar proportions are whole numbers. Topic: <laughs> Determining amount of product Stoichiometry can also be used to find the quantity of a product yielded by a reaction. If a piece of solid copper Cu were added to an aqueous solution of silver nitrate, silver one nitrate the silver Ag would be replaced in a single displacement reaction forming aqueous copper nitrate, copper two nitrate and solid silver. How much silver is produced if 16.00 grams of Cu is added to the solution of excess silver nitrate? The following steps would be used. Write and balance the equation. Mass to moles, convert grams of Cu to moles of Cu. Mole ratio, convert moles of Cu to moles of Ag produced. Mole to mass, convert moles of Ag to grams of Ag produced. A complete balanced equation would be Cu plus 2 silver 1 nitrate copper 2 nitrate plus 2 Ag for the mass to mole step. The mass of copper grams would be converted to moles of copper by dividing the mass of copper by its molecular mass, 63.55 grams per mole. 16.00 GCU one one mole CU sixty three point five five GCU equals zero point two five one eight mole CU Display style left frac sixteen point oh oh M box GCU one right left frac one M box mole CU sixty three point five five M box GCU right equals zero point two five one eight text mole CU now that the amount of Cu in moles zero point two five one eight is found, we can set up the mole ratio. This is found by looking at the coefficients in the balanced equation, Cu and Ag are in a 1 to 2 ratio. 0. 2518 mol Cu 1 2 mol Ag 1 mol Cu equals 0 0.5036 mol Ag Display style left frac 0.2518 m box mol Cu 1 right left frac 2 m box mol Ag 1 m box mol Cu right equals 0.5036 text mol Ag. Now that the moles of Ag produced is known to be 0.5036 moles, we convert this amount to grams of Ag produced to come to the final answer. 0.5036 Mol Ag one one hundred and seven point eight seven G Ag one Mol Ag equals fifty four point three two G Ag 
Display style left frac 0.5036 m box molag 1 right left frac 107.87 m box gag 1 m box molag right equals 54. 32 text gag. This set of calculations can be further condensed into a single step. M A G equals 16.00 G C U 1 1 mol C U 63.55 G C U 2 mol A G 1 mol c u 107.87 g a g 1 mol ag equals 54 32 g Display style M underscore Mathram Ag equals left frac sixteen point oh M box G Mathram C U one right left frac one M box Mol Mathram C U sixty three point five five M box G Mathram C U right left frac two M box Mol Mathram Ag one M box Mol Mathram C U right left frac one hundred and seven point eight seven M Box G Mathram Ag one M box Mol Ag right equals fifty four thirty two M box G Topic Further examples For propane C3H8 reacting with oxygen gas O two, the balanced chemical equation is C three H eight plus five O two three CO two plus four H two oath mass of water formed if one hundred and twenty grams of propane C three H eight is burned in excess oxygen is then M H two O equals one hundred and twenty G C three H Eight one one mole C three H eight forty four O nine G C three H eight four mole H two O one mol C three H eight eighteen O two G H two O one mol H two O equals one hundred and ninety six G Display style M underscore Mathram H underscore two O equals left frac one hundred and twenty M box G Mathram C underscore three H underscore eight one right left frac one M box Mol Mathram C underscore three H underscore eight forty four point oh nine M box G Mathram C underscore three H underscore eight right left frac four M box Mol Mathram H underscore score two O one M box Mol Mathram C underscore three H underscore eight right left frac eighteen O two M box G Mathram H underscore two O one M box Mol Mathram H underscore two O right equals one hundred and ninety six M box G Topic Stoichiometric ratio 
Stoichiometry is also used to find the right amount of one reactant to completely react with the other reactant in a chemical reaction, that is, the stoichiometric amounts that would result in no leftover reactants when the reaction takes place. An example is shown below using the thermite reaction. Iron 3 oxide plus 2 al aluminium oxide plus 2 fe. This equation shows that one mole of iron oxide and two moles of aluminum will produce one mole of aluminium oxide and two moles of iron. So, to completely react with 85.0 g of iron oxide 0.532 moles, 28.7 g moles of aluminium are needed M A L equals 85.0 G F E 2 O 3 1 1 mol F E 2 O 3 159 7 G F E 2 O 3 2 mol al 1 mol F E 2 O 3 26.98 G al 1 mol al equals 28.7 G Display style M underscore Mathram Al equals left frac eighty five point O M box G Mathram Fe underscore two O underscore three one right left frac one M box Mol Mathram Fe underscore two O underscore three one hundred and fifty nine point seven M box G Mathram Fe underscore two O underscore three right left frac two M box Mol Al one M box Mol Math Mathram Fe underscore two O underscore three right left frac twenty six point nine eight M box GL one M box Mol Al right equals twenty eight seven M box G Topic Limiting reagent and percent yield The limiting reagent is the reagent that limits the amount of product that can be formed and is completely consumed when the reaction is complete. An excess reactant is a reactant that is left over once the reaction has stopped due to the limiting reactant being exhausted. Consider the equation of roasting lead sulfide PBS in oxygen O2 to produce lead oxide PBO and sulfur dioxide SO2 2 PBS plus 3 O2 2 PBO plus 2 SO2 to determine the theoretical yield of lead 2 oxide if 200.0 g of lead 2 sulfide and 200.0 g of oxygen are heated in an open container M P B O equals 200.0 G P B S one one mol P B S two hundred and thirty nine point two seven G P B S two mol P B O two Mol P B S two hundred and twenty three two G P B O one Mol P B O equals one hundred and eighty six point six G 
Display style M underscore Mathram PBO equals left frac two hundred point O M box G Mathram PBS one right left frac one M box Mol Mathram PBS two hundred and thirty nine point two seven M box G Mathram PBS right left frac two M box Mol Mathram PBO two M box Mol Mathram PBS right left frac two hundred and twenty three Point two M box G Mathram PBO one M box Mol Mathram PBO right equals one hundred and eighty six point six M box G M P B O equals two hundred point O G O two one one Mol O two thirty two O G O two two Mol P B O three Mol O two two hundred and twenty three point two G P B O one Mol P B O equals nine hundred and thirty point O G Display style M underscore Mathram PBO equals left frac two hundred point O M box G Mathram O underscore two one right left frac one M box Mol Mathram O underscore two thirty two point O O M box G Mathram O underscore two right left frac two M box Mol Mathram PBO three M box Mol Mathram O underscore two right left frac two Two hundred and twenty three point two M box G Mathram PBO one M box Mol Mathram PBO right equals nine hundred and thirty point O M box G because a lesser amount of PBO is produced for the two hundred point O grams of PBS, it is clear that PBS is the limiting reagent. In reality, the actual yield is not the same as the stoichiometrically calculated theoretical yield. Percent yield, then, is expressed in the following equation Percent yield equals actual yield theoretical yield Display style M box percent yield equals frac M box actual yield M box theoretical yield if 170.0 grams of lead oxide is obtained, then the percent yield would be calculated as follows: percent yield equals 170.0 grams PBO, 186.6 grams PBO equals 91.12 percent. Display style M box percent yield equals frac M box one hundred and seventy point O grams PBO M box one hundred and eighty six point six grams PBO equals ninety one twelve per cent. Topic Example Consider the following reaction, in which iron chloride reacts with hydrogen sulfide to produce iron sulfide and hydrogen chloride 2 iron 3 chloride plus 3 H2S iron 3 sulfide plus 6 HCl Suppose 90.0 g of iron 3 chloride reacts with 52.0 g of H2S. To find the limiting reagent and the mass of HCl produced by the reaction, we could set up the following equations M H C L equals ninety zero G F E C L three one one mol f e 
C L three one hundred and sixty two G F E C L three six Mol H C L two Mol F E C L three thirty six five G H C L one Mol H C L equals sixty point eight G Display style M underscore Mathram H C L equals left frac ninety point O M box G Mathram iron one chloride underscore three one right left frac one M box mol Mathram iron one chloride underscore three one hundred and sixty two M box G Mathram iron one chloride underscore three right left frac six M box mol Mathram H C L two M box mol Mathram Iron one chloride underscore three right left frac thirty six point five M box G Mathram H C L one M box Mol Mathram H C L right equals sixty point eight M box G M H C L equals fifty two point O G H two S one one mol H two S thirty four one G H two S six mol H C L three mol H two S thirty six point five G H C L one Mol H C L equals one hundred and eleven G Display style M underscore Mathram H C L equals left frac fifty two point O M box G Mathram H underscore two S one right left frac one M box Mol Mathram H underscore two S thirty four point one M box G Mathram H underscore two S right left frac six M box Mol Mathram H C L three M box Mol Mathram H underscore 2 s right left frac 36.5 m box g mathram h c l 1 m box mol mathram h c l right equals 111 m box g. Thus, the limiting reagent is iron 3 chloride, and the amount of h c l produced is 60.8 grams. To find what mass of excess reagent H2S remains after the reaction, we would set up the calculation to find out how much H2S reacts completely with the 90.0 g iron 3 chloride M H 2 S equals 90 0 G F E C L three one one mol F E C L three one hundred and sixty two G F E C L three three Mol H two S two Mol 
f e c l 3 34 1 g h 2 s 1 mol h 2 s equals 28.4 g r e a c t e d Display style M underscore Mathram H underscore two S equals left frac ninety point O M box G Mathram iron one chloride underscore three one right left frac one M box mole Mathram iron one chloride underscore three one hundred and sixty two M box G Mathram iron one chloride underscore three right left frac three M box mole Mathram H underscore two S two M box mole mathram iron one chloride underscore three right left frac thirty four point one M box G mathram H underscore two S one M box mole mathram H underscore two S right equals twenty eight point four M box G mathram reacted by subtracting this amount from the original amount of H two S we can come to the answer fifty two point O G H two S minus twenty eight point four G H two S equals twenty three six G H two S E X C E S S Display style fifty two point O M box G Mathram H underscore two S twenty eight point four M box G Mathram H underscore two S equals twenty three six M box G Mathram H underscore two S Mathram XS Topic: Different stoichiometries in competing reactions. Often, more than one reaction is possible given the same starting materials. The reactions may differ in their stoichiometry. For example, the methylation of benzene C6H6 through a Friedel-Crafts reaction using aluminium chloride as a catalyst may produce singly methylated C6H5CH3, doubly methylated C6H4CH3-2, or still more highly methylated C6H6-NCH3-N products as shown in the following example. C six H six plus C H three C L C six H five C H three plus H C L C six H six plus two C H three C L C six H four C H three two plus two H C L C six H six plus N C H three C L C six H six minus N C H three N plus N H clin this example, which reaction takes place is controlled in part by the relative concentrations of the reactants. Topic Stoichiometric coefficient In lay terms, the stoichiometric coefficient or stoichiometric number in the IUPAC nomenclature of any given component is the number of molecules that participate in the reaction as written. For example, in the reaction CH4 plus 2O2 CO2 plus 2H2O, the stoichiometric coefficient of CH4 is minus 1, the stoichiometric coefficient of O2 is minus 2, for CO2 it would be plus 1 and for H2O it is plus 2. In more technically precise terms, the stoichiometric coefficient in a chemical reaction system of the ITH component is defined as new I equals delta N I 
delta she display style new underscore i equals frac delta n underscore i delta she or delta n i equals new i delta she display style delta n underscore i equals new underscore i delta she where ni is the number of molecules of I, and she is the progress variable or extent of reaction. The extent of reaction she can be regarded as the amount of a real or hypothetical product, one molecule of which produced each time the reaction event occurs. It is the extensive quantity describing the progress of a chemical reaction equal to the number of chemical transformations, as indicated by the reaction equation on a molecular scale, divided by the Avogadro constant in essence, it is the amount of chemical transformations. The change in the extent of reaction is given by d she equals dnb, nu b, where nu b is the stoichiometric number of any reaction entity b reactant or product and nb is the corresponding amount. The stoichiometric coefficient nu i represents the degree to which a chemical species participates in a reaction. The convention is to assign negative coefficients to reactants which are consumed and positive ones to products. However, any reaction may be viewed as going in the reverse direction, and all the coefficients then change sign as does the free energy. Whether a reaction actually will go in the arbitrarily selected forward direction or not depends on the amounts of the substances present at any given time, which determines the kinetics and thermodynamics, i.e., whether equilibrium lies to the right or the left. In reaction mechanisms, stoichiometric coefficients for each step are always integers, since elementary reactions always involve whole molecules. If one uses a composite representation of an overall reaction, some may be rational fractions. There are often chemical species present that do not participate in a reaction, their stoichiometric coefficients are therefore zero. Any chemical species that is regenerated, such as a catalyst, also has a stoichiometric coefficient of zero. The simplest possible case is an isomerization A bin which nu b. Topic: One since one molecule of B is produced each time the reaction occurs, while nu a. Minus 1 since one molecule of A is necessarily consumed. In any chemical reaction, not only is the total mass conserved but also the numbers of atoms of each kind are conserved, and this imposes corresponding constraints on possible values for the stoichiometric coefficients. There are usually multiple reactions proceeding simultaneously in any natural reaction system, including those in biology. Since any chemical component can participate in several reactions simultaneously, the stoichiometric coefficient of the ITH component in the KTH reaction is defined as nu i k equals n i c k Display style new underscore ik equals frac partial n underscore i partial she underscore k, so that the total differential change in the amount of the ith component is d n i equals k new i k d she k Display style dn underscore i equals sum underscore k new underscore ik d she underscore k. Extensive reaction provide the clearest and most explicit way of representing compositional change, although they are not yet widely used. With complex reaction systems, it is often useful to consider both the representation of a reaction system in terms of the amounts of the chemicals present state variables, and the representation in terms of the actual compositional degrees of freedom, as expressed by the extensive reaction 
The transformation from a vector expressing the extents to a vector expressing the amounts uses a rectangular matrix whose elements are the stoichiometric coefficients The maximum and minimum for any Xi K occur whenever the first of the reactants is depleted for the forward reaction, or the first of the «products» is depleted if the reaction is viewed as being pushed in the reverse direction. This is a purely kinematic restriction on the reaction simplex, a hyperplane in composition space, or n space, whose dimensionality equals the number of linearly independent chemical reactions. This is necessarily less than the number of chemical components, since each reaction manifests a relation between at least two chemicals. The accessible region of the hyperplane depends on the amounts of each chemical species actually present, a contingent fact. Different such amounts can even generate different hyperplanes, all sharing the same algebraic stoichiometry. In accord with the principles of chemical kinetics and thermodynamic equilibrium, every chemical reaction is reversible, at least to some degree, so that each equilibrium point must be an interior point of the simplex. As a consequence, extrema for the Xi S will not occur unless an experimental system is prepared with zero initial amounts of some products. The number of physically independent reactions can be even greater than the number of chemical components, and depends on the various reaction mechanisms. For example, there may be two or more reaction paths for the isomerism above. The reaction may occur by itself, but faster and with different intermediates, in the presence of a catalyst. The dimensionless units may be taken to be molecules or moles. Moles are most commonly used, but it is more suggestive to picture incremental chemical reactions in terms of molecules. The Ns and Xi S are reduced to molar units by dividing by Avogadro's number. While dimensional mass units may be used, the comments about integers are then no longer applicable. Topic stoichiometry matrix In complex reactions, stoichiometries are often represented in a more compact form called the stoichiometry matrix. The stoichiometry matrix is denoted by the symbol N if a reaction network has N reactions and M participating molecular species then the stoichiometry matrix will have correspondingly M rows and N columns. For example, consider the system of reactions shown below, S1 S25 S3 plus S24 S3 plus 2 S2 S3 S4 S4 S5 This system comprises four reactions and five different molecular species. The stoichiometry matrix for this system can be written as n equals minus one o o o one one o o o minus one minus one o o o one minus one o o o one. Display style math bf n equals begin b matrix minus one and zero and zero and zero one and one and zero and zero zero and minus one and minus one and zero zero and zero and one and minus one zero and zero and zero and one end b matrix where the rows correspond to S1, S2, S3, S4 and S5, respectively. Note that the process of converting a reaction scheme into a stoichiometry matrix can be a lossy transformation, for example, the stoichiometries in the second reaction simplify when included in the matrix. This means that it is not always possible to recover the original reaction scheme from a stoichiometry matrix. Often the stoichiometry matrix is combined with the rate vector, V, and the species vector, S to form a compact equation describing the rates of change of the molecular species D S D T equals N V Display style frac d math bf s d t equals math bf n c d o t math bf v. Topic: Gas stoichiometry. Gas stoichiometry is the quantitative relationship ratio between reactants and products in a chemical reaction with reactions that produce gases. Gas stoichiometry applies when the gases produced are assumed to be ideal, and the temperature, pressure, and volume of the gases are all known. 
The ideal gas law is used for these calculations. Often, but not always, the standard temperature and pressure STP are taken as 0 degrees Celsius and 1 bar and used as the conditions for gas stoichiometric calculations. Gas stoichiometry calculations solve for the unknown volume or mass of a gaseous product or reactant. For example, if we wanted to calculate the volume of gaseous NO2 produced from the combustion of 100 g of NH3, by the reaction, 4 NH3 G plus 7 O2 G 4 NO2 G plus 6 H2O L. We would carry out the following calculations: 100 G N H3 1 M O L N H3 Seventeen point oh three four G N H three equals five point eight seven one M O L N H three Display style one hundred Mathram G N H underscore three C D O T Frac one Mathram Mol N H underscore three seventeen point oh three four Mathram G N H underscore three equals five point eight seven one Mathram Mol N H underscore three there is a 1 to 1 molar ratio of NH3 to NO2 in the above balanced combustion reaction, so 5.871 moles of NO2 will be formed. We will employ the ideal gas law to solve for the volume at 0 degrees Celsius K and 1 atmosphere using the gas law constant of R equals 0. 08206 LATM K minus one mole minus one PV equals NRTV equals NRTP equals five point eight seven one zero point oh eight two oh six two hundred and seventy three point one five one equals one hundred and thirty one point five nine seven LNO two display style begin aligned PV and equals NRT V and equals frac NRT P and equals frac five point eight seven one one CDOT zero point oh eight two oh six CDOT two hundred and seventy three point one five one and equals one hundred and thirty one point five nine seven Mathram L no underscore two end aligned gas stoichiometry often involves having to know the molar mass of a gas, given the density of that gas. The ideal gas law can be rearranged to obtain a relation between the density and the molar mass of an ideal gas. Rho equals m v display style rho equals frac m v and n equals m m display style n equals frac m m and thus rho equals m p R T display style row equals frac M P R T where P equals absolute gas pressure V equals gas volume N equals amount measured in moles R equals universal ideal gas law constant T equals absolute gas temperature Rho equals gas density at T and P M equals mass of gas M equals molar mass of gas equals topic stoichiometric air to fuel ratios of common fuels equals in the combustion reaction, oxygen reacts with the fuel, and the point where exactly all oxygen is consumed and all fuel burned is defined as the stoichiometric point. With more oxygen over stoichiometric combustion, some of it stays unreacted. Likewise, if the combustion is incomplete due to lack of sufficient oxygen, fuel remains unreacted. 
Unreacted fuel may also remain because of slow combustion or insufficient mixing of fuel and oxygen, this is not due to stoichiometry. Different hydrocarbon fuels have different contents of carbon, hydrogen and other elements, thus their stoichiometry varies. Gasoline engines can run at stoichiometric air-to-fuel ratio, because gasoline is quite volatile and is mixed sprayed or carburetted with the air prior to ignition. Diesel engines, in contrast, run lean, with more air available than simple stoichiometry would require. Diesel fuel is less volatile and is effectively burned as it is injected. <laughs> 